Hey folks, how's it going? It's Robert here. What I want to talk about today is all the stuff that's going on with DNR. Uh, you guys have seen some of the videos, you see kind of what's going on. Uh, they went up like, we were up there on the 12th or the 14th or something like that. Then I was up a week later, last week. Uh, when I went up there, they asked me to move, you guys all seen that. I packed up all my stuff and left the day after when they asked me to move. Alright, the only thing I left there was a piece of hose and there was uh, the stand that the little shed was in. There was four alder bushes in the ground with a little bit of bank line holding them together and I had a couple of tripods that was there for cooking around the campfire and stuff. And I left the stand for the buckets in the tree so that when we go up there we can still just put a bucket in the tree and use the solar shower and stuff well where I moved the camper to apparently wasn't off crown land I was 20 feet away from the line so they went down there and they blazed the line and they put ribbons and stuff on so I moved the camper my issue is the fact that they uh, they come up and busted everything at that campsite that wasn't worth taking uh, you know, I can't prove it was DNR. I can't prove anything that it was DNR. But, you know, my stuff has been up there for a while, and I've been in and out of there my whole life. Everybody in that area knows me. Nobody's ever touched any of my stuff up until now. So how come I go up there? I set up the tent. We were doing a bit of camping up there. I've set up and taken down the tent a few times. I mean, you go up there and practice bushcraft. You do all kinds of stuff. Um, these guys know that. I've been in to talk to them. You know, I wasn't going to post the info that I got from them up there. I posted it once and I took it down because, you know, I didn't want to cause any more grief with them. But, you know, this is for illegal camping. You know, for them to go up there and take my stuff, like, come on, seriously? Like, they took my solar shower. I can't prove it was them, but, you know, it was around the exact same time they were up there and blazed all the lines. They stole my solar shower bucket. They stole they stole my uh, my water bucket. They stole my extra water bucket. I mean, all that stuff was moved in and out more than once. It, it never stayed there permanently. Um, you know, so I don't know where they get off taking my stuff. You know, not that I can't make another one. I get the buckets for free, and the taps only cost five bucks. You know, but you know, I hope them fellas get some use. But you know, them breaking and tearing out them alder bushes that I had shoved in the ground, and I'll put a little video of that. I never taped too much of it because I was really ugly about the whole situation. Um, you know, they, they smashed that thing in the tree, and they didn't even bother to take it down. All they did was smash it. It's not like they took it down and removed it. They just smashed it so that it couldn't be used by any, anybody else and left it hanging in the tree. What was the point of smashing it and leaving it hanging in the tree? You, you know, if you guys are so concerned about it being there and being a mess and not looking the way you want it to look, why would you smash it? Why would you smash it and not take it down? Why would you not haul all the stuff out of there or at least burn it? Another thing I want to talk about too, um, DNR at the same time they did all that other stuff. Uh, DNR went and uh, pissed all over my blankets and my sleep mats that I had for the trailer. There's some of them that we brought in and I left them there underneath the pool um, because I didn't have time at the moment to take them down into the trailer because the trailer is like a seven minute walk down in the woods so and I didn't have the time so I brought them back up and I set them underneath uh, set them underneath the, the pool so they wouldn't get wet and then DNR went up there and uh, and ripped down all the stuff and ripped down the stuff in the tree for the for the shower buckets and, uh, and destroyed all my tripods for cooking and uh, kicked apart my bench that I had made up there I think I showed a video of the bench um, just made out of some hardwood logs and uh, and they piled everything beside the fire pit um, which you know most of that stuff was moved in and out of there except the tripods for cooking and the shower stand in the tree all that stuff we had been up there and back up and camped um, we stayed in the tent for a couple of nights I mean we did a little bit of hammock camping I mean we've been up there doing bushcraft and stuff and uh, you know I don't know if they think that I'm gonna stop using that spot or, or they're just targeting me for this hostility or aggression because I had that tent trailer there and the thing is I've done everything they've asked me to do I've moved everything except taking that stand out of the tree 
And the thing is, they went up there and wrecked everything else, but not one of them went up and touched the, the shit house I had made, which is kind of ironic. They busted and broke everything else, but nobody wanted to touch that shit house, um, which all it is is a cooler in the ground. You could just pull it out and move it anyway. And, uh, yeah, you know, and it's like I got hunting blinds up in the woods and stuff, and I just don't get it I hunt up there every year you know I've hunted up there for for years and years and years I don't know what they think they're going to accomplish you know by breaking and stealing my stuff they're going to call it confiscation <laughs> but uh, you know why are you confiscate, confiscating stuff if you're not charging me with a crime that's the thing that gets me and, you know if there's so much evidence against me why don't they charge me with being on crown land illegally like, I just don't understand it. Not that I want to get charged with it, but, you know, I've done everything they've asked. As soon as they told me that I was illegally on Crown Land, I moved the next day. You know, or within that week. I went up and packed up the trailer the next day. So, I, I don't know what they want. And within that first week, I had moved everything. And, and, I mean, we'd been backing in and out of there, you know, a half dozen times at least. So, I really don't know what they want. Anyway, that's my little rant. I'm sorry I'm ugly about the whole ordeal, but... Uh, just dealing with DNR is just bullshit.